Meantime, back to some other news right now. We got a high tech way to tell you about to remember the dearly departed. This one's really different. I've never it heard is. about this. I think it's really interesting. Fox 35 Tom Johnson takes us to a cemetery in Winter Park where the technology is in place. Moss covered trees tower over graves dating back to the late 1800s in Winter Park's Palm Cemetery. A cemetery about as traditional as it gets. And tradition is highly valued in the funeral and cemetery industry. Everybody's always done things the way that their father or grandfather before them did things. It's very traditional. People tend to stick with the same way things have always been done. Jana Bauman is Winter Park's cemeteries manager. She knows these grounds well. But the people who really count sometimes struggle here. We have a lot of families that they get out to the cemetery and they have a general idea of where the person is, but they're not exactly sure. So Bauman's bucking tradition, helping bring Winter Park into the 21st century with a new app centered on its cemeteries. Designed as a way that families can locate a loved one in the cemetery if no one's here at the cemetery to show them where to go. The WPC Explorer app is pretty simple. Enter a name and the app pulls up a map with the grave site's location and your location. It'll literally walk them to it. And once you get there, the app is capable of showing you much more. You can have photos, life history, obituary, any information that you want about the person. Walk to Winter Park founder Loring Chase's grave. Pull him up on the app and you'll find a photo and a bio. It's part of an emerging technology trend in the cemetery industry. A company called Vidstone offers a 7-inch solar-powered LCD screen built right into gravestones. They come loaded with a personalized tribute video to the dearly departed. And there's a Seattle company that takes the idea of interactive grave sites to even another level using something called quick response or QR codes. The code would either be etched into the front of the monument or added later. And when you scan it with your cell phone, a memorial page pops up with information you've added about your loved one. The app and websites and things that are coming out um, are keeping the funeral industry up with everybody else. Technology taking hold in a place where the past is valued and the future often overlooked. Tom Johnson. You never know what's going to be available in another 10 years. Fox 35 News. Winter Park also plans to use its app for cemetery tourism. They're adding a walking tours function to it. Those tours will lead you to and tell you about the graves of people who played significant roles in Winter Park history. A little bit of adjustment there. It's just really jumping in toward the future. It is. Things yeah. continue to change. It'll be fascinating to see what they come up with in about a decade. Oof. We'll keep you posted. All right.